Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we will be doing a review of an abomination of God's lie pieced together from uh, stuff I just had lying around. So, that being said, sometimes you create things to accomplish a particular purpose, and sometimes you have spare parts lying around, and you go, hey, let's make something else. So, in my infinite free time, that's a lie, I created this. The thing. And how this came about was I had the, this is the uh, little backpack straps from the Warrior Assault Systems Assault Modular Assault Pack. And this is uh, two pouches from the, was it the Eagle Industries LBT Mix, a uh, little super backpack. I had these two pouches from, uh, uh, what was it, um, the Demon of Ogimi, my good buddy, Riker. And here's the front straps from the other thing. So, I took a bungee cord off of a, from, it's basically a magazine bungee, put that up here. Then I took some 550 cord and wrapped this through the otherwise uh, loops that you would use to put the other straps through. And then, for good measure, there's a zip tie back here. And the looping mechanism goes through the bottom little, uh, yeah, clamp thing. So, it's a super backpack. And if you're wondering what's full of, this part is full of a uh, little, was it the sniper mesh and a bug suit, which is really good for going into the jungle. And this is full of uh, extra pouches I'm not actively using. So, now as you can see, there's no real back support or anything, so this pops open and closed as it so desires. And yeah, so anyway, since we've made well, I, I'll take full responsibility for this bastardization, made this thing, we're going to put it on. Okay. So, as you can see, it fits, it straps down, and boom. So now we have a bunch of extra gear that we probably don't need. I suppose you could pack it full of C4. Dude, you could pack it full of, you could buy like, I don't know, 9,000 tornado grenades. Me. Those numbers are a rough estimate. And just stuff them all in here. Just run around with a bunch of grenades on your back. And I guess when you get to a destination where you're like, hey, there might be one dude in that single building you take off the backpack. You go, get the clip, you go, ah, little straps. Break it down, open up the zippers, you go, grenades for everyone! And then everyone just chucks a thousand grenades into the building. <laughs> well, psh, 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 is a more accurate sound effect. And then everyone just charges in, and then the building was empty, and the dudes in the next building. But that's okay, because you still have 8,000 more grenades. So yeah, it's interesting. It's more of a proof of concept, because I noticed the other day that the uh, buckles actually matched up. And that's why I was like, oh, we'll put these suspenders on here and find a way to connect it. So, rear view of it kind of sags around, does its own thing. It's... Surprisingly, I would consider this a better setup than your average civilian backpack. Only have the same nylon, no back support, or anything crazy like that. So if you put anything square-like or with edges in your bag, it is going to poke you in the back, cause you some problems. If you put anything too heavy, I mean, the buckles old. Tough buckles. Can't argue with that, but as far as comfort goes, you're not going to be too comfortable. However, if you're wearing a plate carrier, then the plate will take all the pokies and you'll be okay. So, that is the review of the thing that the Good Sir Knight made that exists. It probably shouldn't, but it does, hence the abomination. So, there you go, the abomination dual pouch high speed jumpable pack by the Good Sir Knight and meshing a few different companies together that would, might not necessarily work together on an average basis. I don't know. I'm pretty sure none of them are together at a board meeting right now going like, oh, that's the best idea I've ever seen. Oh my god, steal it! Yeah, that's probably not happening, but yeah, so super assault pack now. If I can just get 9,000 uh, cyclone grenades, fill this thing up, I don't know. It's definitely a fun idea. I could probably put something in here that's absolutely ridiculous and has no justifiable purpose, but 
Honestly, it's not that bad. It actually came out kind of nicely, considering I didn't need to make it, and I just saw that the clips went together. You can see there's actually a bit of a color differentiation between the two, but they clip, they don't come out, so it works. Haha, -ha, I've made a thing! Oh, look, you, you have these extra bits you can attach. I don't know, some uh, like Grimlocks or some s beaners or I don't know. There's options there. So yeah, um, that's cool. You guys have made anything crazy lately from extra gear lying around? I don't know, if you guys have made anything like crazy, like totally let me know, because it's fun. Not necessary, but fun, so. Anyway, let's, cut, let's uh, wrap up this review. So that's the GSK Super Abomination. The average net price is like 96 kajillion dollars, and we've pieced it together from extra gear. So, cheers everyone. Let me know if you want one. I'll be uh, taking orders here in the near future. And uh, yeah, and uh, so tell your friends. Cheers everyone. See you in the next video.